I think for the last few months, uh, Enda Kenny and the government have been peddling the lie and the fantasy that the movement against water charges was finished. And we have today an unmistakable message that that movement is alive and well and growing and will not be satisfied until the water charges and Irish water are scrapped. I think we have young people, we have old people, we have parents, uh, we have every single section of Irish society from every single part of this country represented here today. Uh, it couldn't be a clearer, clearer message, uh, but that this government does not have a mandate to implement these unjust and despised charges. Well, it's very difficult to play down a protest that has filled both sides of O'Connell Street from one end to the other and beyond, and which has se seized tens and tens of thousands of people from all over the country. Uh, the bubble, the fantasy the government about peddling that this movement was on the decline has been fully uh, and finally punctured today. These protests are going to continue. We are going to see it in about 10 days' time a boycott nationwide of these charges. Further protests that will continue until these charges are scrapped or the government that's trying to implement them is uh, swept out of power. Well, we're pensioners and we worked for 60 years. We've lost everything. They didn't touch our pension, but they've taken our phone, <coughs> our gas allowance. They've, you know, they put 250 on every item of tablets. But when we get old, we need tablets. I'm diabetic. She's Alzheimer's. And we're just screwed. No, we just don't have the money now. We're protesting here today for us for austerity. We've had enough. The Irish people can't. They can't just keep take 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 and, and giving nothing back. So I'm here for for anti austerity. Do you think that there are many young people showing up at this I think there, I, th I think that there is a generation missing. To be honest, I think that there is a big, ge a lot of the younger generation missing. Um, we could do with bringing some more younger generation on board with us. And, and why do you think that that is? I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe they haven't been educated properly by their parents, perhaps. Um, but maybe they're just too busy out drinking in the pub, watching the rugby. Who knows? I'm here today because, in my opinion. Irish Water cannot be trusted to manage our money responsibly. They have already proven, for example, with the advertising campaign of 650,000, I believe is the figure I've heard, it's a very poor use of our money. I acknowledge that we do need to pay for water. I acknowledge that we already do pay for water. So the reason why I'm here today is to say, no more, we're paying enough. Why should we be paying for it again? And if we are going to be paying for it, use our money responsibly, stop wasting it. It's an important issue for the simple reason they're taking a human right from the Irish people for their own gains. And it's wrong, morally wrong. That's why. Right. We're not going to pay the water. We're not paying it. No way we're not paying it. Insulting the Irish people with our highly intellectual, intelligent people that we are. Wanting us to pay for filthy dirt and muck and rusty pipes. I'm here with my mammy to protest for my future. And have you protested before? Yeah. This is my third time in Dublin now, isn't it? Yeah. Your third time. And so what's yeah. your message to the government? They, they, we're just going to not pay. None of us are going to do it. So the rest of them, they can pay if they want, but the rest of us aren't. And what age are you? I'm 11. And what class are you in? Fifth. In fifth class. And will you protest again if you have to? I will. I'll, I'll keep protesting until they stop.